Hey there, welcome to our channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make chicken breast supreme with a mushroom sauce. And we're going to put all that goodness over some egg noodles or if you're at home and don't have any egg noodles, rice will work just fine too. I've done it both ways. Obviously, you're going to need some chicken breast. How many ever chicken breasts do you need to feed your family? That's what you put out. Then we're going to need some seasoning salt, some paprika, some chicken bouillon, some minced onion, some curry powder, and some pepper. And for the mushroom sauce, all you're going to need is a small can of mushrooms, a quarter cup of flour, some water, and the drippings out of this pan when we get done baking. All right, we're going to get that chicken seasoned up. We're going to take that seasoning salt and liberally sprinkle it all over the top. And we're going to get our paprika and do the same thing. We're going to liberally sprinkle. All right, and then we're going to flip them over. And do the exact same thing again. Get them nice and coated. All right. And get that seasoning salt. Coat them again. Now we're going to put them in a baking dish. So let's move our sauce out of the way because we're not going to do that yet. Put this baking dish. You know, nine by eleven is fine. All right, we're just going to take that and put them right on into our baking dish. And I'm not wasting those seasoning, so in they go. All right, now I need a rag. Ah, there it is. Okay. Now we're going to set that aside. We're going to take a small bowl. We're going to put one cup, one, one cup, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon. Oops. Get the right one open. About three teaspoons of minced onion. Teaspoon of curry. Y'all know I love curry. That stuff just smells amazing to me. You almost can't make a chicken breast taste good without curry, in my opinion. But anyway, there you go. It won't close. And a dash of pepper. Just like that. Well, actually, we like pepper, so we're going to do more than a dash. Okay. Then we're going to take one cup of boiling water, which I already did, so you didn't have to wait for water to boil. And we're going to pour that right into the bowl. We're going to give that a little stir. Make sure that that bouillon is nice and melted. And then we're going to pour it right into our baking dish. Right on into the baking dish. Alrighty then. Can't get any easier than that, guys. All right, we're going to set that aside. We're going to cover this with tin foil. Put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay, we're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. And don't go anywhere. I mean, just give me time to get that 30 minutes up because we still have to make the mushroom sauce and you still have to know how to put it all together. Okay, now I'm going to reach in here. My 30 minutes is up. I'm just going to reach in here and take that aluminum foil off and leave it to cook 30 more minutes. But now I know that I have 30 minutes left. I need to start my pasta so everything's done all at one time. 
All right, so we're gonna get this eye on high heat because we want to boil this water. So I'm gonna take about a half a gallon of water, but you follow the directions on whatever pasta or noodles or rice you're using. So I'm gonna put about a half a gallon of water in there and I'm gonna liberally salt that water, probably two tablespoons. Because that pasta is not going to soak up that much water, I mean that much salt. So, the lid on it, let it come to a boil. That'll take probably 10 minutes or so. And then we'll add that pasta. Okay, my water's boiling now. And I'm going to add about two cups of pasta, which I'm just going to guess at. Yep, looks good to me. Okay, I'm going to give that just a little stir, just so they're not sticking too much. I'm going to put that lid back on, like that, askew, where there's enough room in there so that we don't boil over. And I need about 12 minutes for that. All right, now about another 30 minutes, I'm going to take my chicken out of the oven. Now we're going to take those out and just set them on a platter for now. Now we're going to come over to the stove okay, and we're going to get this on a medium heat. Just like that. We're going to set our pan on there. We're going to take all these pan juices and drop them in. Set that where we'll put that. All right. We're going to take our flour. We need about right at a quarter of a cup of flour. If you don't need all of it, don't put it in there. And we're just going to do a little at a time. that time. I guess I might as well use it all. That's all I had left in there. And we want to whisk that till our flour is kind of cooked and doesn't have that tasty flavor. Okay, right about now I'm going to add that mushroom juice. Out of our can of mushrooms. And we're going to add about a cup of water, a little at a time, until we get a nice sauce. Not too thick, not too thin. See, a little at a time. So it gets to the thickness and consistency that you like. And right at that cup of water is where I like it because it's going to sit and simmer just a few more minutes and it will thicken back up. Now we're going to add those mushrooms. Okay, now we're just going to let that simmer till our noodles are done. All right, and I forgot to tell you to turn it all the way down to low because we're just going to let it simmer now. And we're going to go ahead and add that chicken back so that our chicken stays warm. Nobody wants to eat cold chicken. All right, my pasta is ready now. So Randy's gonna go drain it for me. And we'll be right back. Randy's got me my pasta. We're gonna put it right back in that pot. We're gonna add a little olive oil just so my pasta doesn't stick. I don't know, tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. 
going to give that a little shake, a little stir. Now we can plate this up. Dinner is ready. We're going to start with our chicken. We're going to come over here and get some pasta. And we'll put some more sauce with those mushrooms on there. And Randy can do his taste test. Test time, here we go. I am racing. This stuff is good. Oh, but I don't know that yet, do I? Right, you don't know it's good yet. No, no. Hey, how you guys like my new shirt? I got this shirt for Christmas. I tried it on, I didn't like it. But then I put it on and put my overalls on. I think it looks pretty good. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. Oh, yes. You guys are going to absolutely enjoy this. I can already tell I'm going to need some more dipping sauce for my chicken. <laughs> he loves extra sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, that is really good. Yeah. That is fantastic. I love curry. I really do. I, I do. Randy's not that big a fan. But well, some, I'm a fan of this. But yeah, some things he's a fan of, but that one always turns out really, really good. And y'all saw how easy it was. And, you know, as far as ingredients, it's mostly spices. So that's pennies, pennies. So, you know, really what you bought was some chicken, some pasta, and a can of mushrooms. So, I mean, for a really um guess worthy meal okay yep i'm ready to eat okay go right. eat we are out of here see you in the next video you Bye. got to say it this time